What's up with the YouTube? It's your girl Days Baby. And I'm back with another video. Um, I'm out here on the patio with my dogs, chilling. It feels good outside. Raymond, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? Raymond, get out there, man. Some water, bro. Let me get us some water. Remember, it ain't your bowl. It ain't your bowl. Thank you, ma'am. Had to get him a quick little drink. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I got a tattoo to do today at 3:15. It's gonna be a quick little banger. Um, just a little name on the wrist right here. Uh, yeah. It's just gonna come out fine. You know do my thing on it and for those who don't know i am a self-taught tattoo artist you know I'm trying to teach myself take a little bit of game from the tattoo artists that i be around and you know try to do my shit the end goal is to get in the shop get my license and take off you know that's the plan that's the dream anyway um I mean, day three, when this video go up, it's gonna be day three. It's day three of the starter locks. You know, let y'all check them out. Mm -hmm. Day two, still the same. I mean, day three. I don't know why I keep saying day two. Day three, they still looking good. the diamond pattern too so that's what y'all see in my head because i don't think i explained it in depth in the other video but yeah um i looked on youtube i was watching videos before i went and got them done and i got an idea i didn't know it was the different braid patterns that you can get so i'm happy i ran across that video and um yeah, I went on Google, looked up different braid pattern, braid patterns, and I came across the diamond one. I was like, I think that'd be real cute. And if I had to pick a pattern, like you know, that I wanna have for the rest of my, you know, dread hair life, that would be the one that I wanna wanna do. I don't wanna do the regular squares if I had other options, you know. So I'm happy I picked that. I'm really ready to see like how much more my hair gonna do before I have another retwist. This one I'm excited to see like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Especially when they get into that little budding stage where, you know, I'm, I'm man, I'm, I ain't got no worries. I'm just ready. Taking it a day at a time. I ain't gonna need to pay no attention to it. You know, I'm just gonna, Keep doing my thing, doing these tattoos and shit, and let it let it roll. I'm gonna let y'all look at the dog some more. Diva, Diva, these are American Rottweilers. This is Diva. 
He is four years old. This is our first large dog that I ever had. And this nigga is practically, basically a house dog. We stay in an apartment. So they up on a patio. They on a patio out here. And he is 120 pounds. Yeah. This is Remy. This is my baby girl. This is my first girl dog. This is my first girl dog. Yeah. This is my baby right here. She's one. She's an American Rock Wild as well. I don't know how much she weighs. I have to take it to the vet and see if I can get a, a weight. But she is not too fond of people. Um, I messed up. I messed up. Like, y'all, when they sit there and tell y'all to make sure you socialize your dogs, uh, I can't remember the exact time limit. I think it was between 8 to 16 weeks or something like that. It's important for you to do that. Because if we got a chance to do that with Debo because we stayed right there beside, across the street from a dog park. But with Remy, we didn't have that luxury. And the place that we moved to had dogs, but didn't have a dog park with me. Which messed it up for everything, and I wasn't able to take her as much as I wanted to, because it was a little distance away. But um, it's all right, I'm gonna be doing some working with her. I'm gonna try to start recording it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do some training with her. I'll be watching a lot of videos, trying to get knowledge up on this stuff. Cause this is the first time I don't had large breed of dogs and had two of them. And they Rottweilers too. So, you know, Rottweilers already got that stereotype. And you know, I don't want that type of pet. So I'm gonna put in a little work with them and make videos on fun and share that process with y'all because the plan is to breed these guys. Yeah. The plan is to breed them, so you're gonna be seeing them on you're gonna be seeing them on the channel a few times a lot. Yeah. Man, that's pretty much it for the day. You know? That's pretty much it. I'm just gonna just chilling, waiting to do this tattoo, and I'm just chilling by. When my client get here, I'm gonna pick y'all back up and let y'all see them little process right there. Until then, I get back with you.